Hello. I'm back on my uh, Europa base. The. Looks like airlock just ran out of power. Not too helpful. Okay, so that just needs to be plugged into the main grid. So I'm gonna see, because the atmosphere is oxygen and a tiny bit of nitrogen, I can just use these flares to heat it up and that will be good for me to breathe. And I'm going to want a uh, heated and pressurized environment for my batteries to be stored in. Because, as you may have seen, they do drain very quickly in the low temperature. Looks like I'm going to need to go mine some more coal to get my power back up. like this is a pretty sizable node. And of course that happened. Okay. No idea what caused that. That's why you always bring duct tape with you.
Considering that the uh, surface is supposed to be ice, I think that uh, it would make sense to get actual ice from it, but I guess not. I think that'll be enough coal for now. Can never hurt to have more gold, copper, or iron, really. Not that silver. Don't want that. So if I'm going to make some uh, uh, large batteries, I'm going to need uh, steel. So that requires iron and coal. And a furnace, of course. And if I'm going to be doing that, I'm going to need a a bit of volatiles and bauxite. That should be enough of those for a bit. So now I can go head back to base. I could technically get more stuff, but I don't really think I need to. Eventually, I will uh, expand the uh, pressurized area so I can store more batteries and stuff. Because I'm going to want to do everything indoors because it's so cold outside. I thought I stored all my flares in there.
Oh well. Uh, my power is getting really low, so I'm going to start up the generator. See what I need for a furnace. The arc furnace can only be used for uh, smelting a single ore, it can't create alloys, so that's why I need to create uh, this one. wait for that battery to charge up and I'll replace it with mine. Looks like I'm low on uh, sheets. I'm gonna set up the generator, or the furnace rather, somewhere over here. I'm also gonna get rid of that solar panel because it's just taking up space and generating nearly like no power at all. I think I'll have it positioned like that maybe. We'll have our pipe outputs over here in the back. Yeah, that'll work. Um, get some iron sheets made up. So we don't need an input right now, because uh, we're just going to manually put it in, put the ices in. And 
Then I want some. I want a valve. And I'll want a vent to uh, release the uh, air once it's used, because you can't recombust it, obviously. And that will be placed right here for now. Eventually... I will want to um, have that go up to a filtration system, but that's uh, too advanced for what I have right now. Now for for smelting, I'm going to need I'm gonna do three oxid oxide and six volatiles melt those up and then steel is a three to one uh, coal and iron just want to make sure that's correct yeah so three iron to one coal I have right here one two three stacks and one stack of coal now that ignition right there that melted everything so now I can add stuff to this and I'll have that exit once it's finished and now we have some coal and some gold and that took uh, zero electricity to produce and because I don't have anything else to smelt I'm going to slowly try and release that pressure because it's very hot, very high pressure right now. As you saw that uh, the air venting from it can push stuff around including your player. This is going to be the electronics printer, battery, going to want, oh they changed that I guess. So it's just going to be the standard battery that's gold, copper, and steel. I don't have enough gold for that though. That's unfortunate. I'm just gonna stay close and see if I can find a small bit of gold.
Here we go. So base should be this way. Hope I didn't get too lost. Leave that exposed. Here it is. And it's still hot enough. That's great. Now this is gonna use a... Oh, not as much power as I was expecting. So, I'm actually going to want to expand already. So I'm going to need sheets and frames. I'm actually going to need a lot more sheets than that. I think I'll expand it there as well. Oh, I'm super low on iron. So I'm going to need to gather iron, obviously, so I can continue with that expansion. And that's going to be where my uh, power is all stored. As well as uh, power production. Just to make it a lot easier.
Okay, so that's not hard enough to cook anything. So I'm going to use that smelter. Get my battery back up. So I'll need to move this uh, power controller into the new room. How many... Here we go. This will also generate uh, quite a bit of heat, I believe, which will help with the base. So I'm pretty sure my flares have completely disappeared, which is pretty annoying. Because now I'll have to use a, uh, an electric heater to heat the base. So I'm not quite sure if if the generator actually outgasses anything. I can probably check. So it looks like that will outgas. So... Hmm. I 
think I'll have it just outside there. And then have some shoots to load it. So it looks like I don't have enough cable, so I'll have to, uh, to cut off some machines temporarily. Well, that's not good. Okay. Now, get inside. And power that up. Now everything should have power, so I'm going to try to get that battery charged up with solid generator. And of course I left my cables in there. I lost everything in there, didn't I? Okay, well that's not too helpful. Oh, the frame doesn't need to be welded up, apparently. So I think a placement like that will be ideal so I can get cables running through there. And of course I can get my chute set up.
I'm just gonna print up a few more heavy cables. Okay, so now that's hooked up. I'm also going to need the data port hooked up so I can power it from inside of the base. And that's not going to work. So I'm going to lead that in there. And that's probably going to want to go like that. I'm going to want a battery charger, so I don't have to uh, constantly monitor stuff and like switch around the batteries. Forgot a switch. Okay, well. Unfortunately, we obviously don't have a uh, bridge, so this is going to need to go, well, it has to come around here. So it'll have to go up and over, unfortunately. Seems like a huge waste of cables.
Okay, so I'll have to use a heavy cable right there. So that's going to be the input, obviously. Keep a storage thing there. So I'm going to need more cables, I'm going to need a button or a switch. get my water up. Yeah, I might want to get some, uh, some water production up soon. How did those get up there? Right, I'm also gonna need a, uh... A logic I.O. Actually, I didn't even need the switch because this has a built-in switch rider. Yep. And I might want some more cables. Oh, that's not good. Okay, that battery should be able to charge now. That's not going to work because I need to... Oh shoot. Um, I need to be able to access... I need to be able to access all the dials on it.
So I need to get rid of that. And I also need to go out mining for some coal, so I'll go for coal first. Oh, I'm about to die. Okay. Okay, heating up, yes. I should be regaining consciousness. I just flushed... I have good pressure and temperature and it should be pure oxygen. Okay, now my health is going down. And the atmosphere is pure oxygen even, almost. Oh, yep, spawn me in the air. Oh, yeah, that's super low gravity. Yeah, maybe not do that. Well... I really don't know what just happened. Power now. I really don't understand why I died. Oh, don't do that. Okay, well, helmet just disappeared. I 
guess I'll wait for that to explode. Can't really do much right now. Guess I could go ahead and destroy that. Just gonna drain that out. So my body's gonna explode eventually and pop out all of my tools and gear. That's gonna be a while. Oh, well, never mind. I don't want a reader, I want to... I want to write from the switch. Output to the generator. Turn it on. Alright, I don't have any... Uh, coal with me. Yep, that's oxygen. Everything's on. Okay, well now it's fine. That was strange. Oh, I already had a... Okay. I'm making stuff I don't really need. Um, generator... Writer.
Yeah, I don't have that machine to make a uh, flare, so I'll go gather more coal right now. And then get an electric heater. So it looks like I'm also completely out of gold. So I'll take this gold and look for coal. And the electric heater is going to take a ton of power. just a single uh, coal. If you're wondering why I'm not getting lost, it's because I'm heading at a set bearing away from base and then I'm going at the reverse to get back and now I'm back starting to become daytime that's always nice now it'll be a lot easier to uh, spot ores like this and obviously get back home
No more coal. At least I can get some uh, gold while I'm here. Eventually, I plan on having a, uh, a hydrogen and oxygen generator, which will provide more power, I believe. And obviously, I don't have to go gathering coal or yeah, coal. I can get it from. I can get oxygen from the atmosphere. I can get uh, water to power it or ice. Uh, I could also do oxide and volatiles, just uh, melting those. Like I said, you can't really see much when you're mining at night, so I completely missed this patch of coal. Yeah, so that's a bit glitchy. Guess I'll be using my jetpack from now on. I do think it is pretty wasteful to be using the uh, the nitrogen like this in my jetpack. And yes, your jetpack does actually output gas. That's what just happened right there. Okay, good, that switch does work. And this way I can have a cue for the uh, coal going into it. Did I... No. Oh, right, I needed the gold for it. The heater. As you can see, it's negative almost 100 degrees in there. So I just need a few pieces of gold, so I'm not going to wait for the entire thing. If you need to stop it early, I'll just wait for this. You can just press the power button right there, and then it'll finish cooking, then you can turn it back on.
I'm gonna uh, install the heater. I think here would be fine. For whatever reason, this junction doesn't actually cost more. Not really. Oh, that's full on power. So I can start that going. And the air should start heating up slowly. It's really not fast, like, at all, though. So I think this would be a great place to uh, stop.